What's up, ragazzi? Welcome back to our top five goals of the week. Yes, this week is going to be top five. So let's, without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, Amici, we're back with another top five. Let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to start with number five, and we're going to go to Empoli, of all places. Uh, and it's Rade Krunic uh, with his bombarding run from pretty much the whole pitch, pitch coast to coast, seemed like. Uh, goes through everybody with a nice cheeky chip over the goalie. Boom. That comes in at number five. Going to number four now. Uh, we're going to actually stay at Empoli, of all places, right? When was the last time we saw two Empoli goals in the, in the same countdown? Well, here we go. Uh, coming in at number four is Diego Farias, new man to Empoli, came in in the January window, uh, scores a sensational goal. Check out the move he makes on the defender before the goal. Magnifique. Uh, number three, we're going to go to uh, AC Milan, and we're going to go to a guy who hasn't scored a goal all yet. He uh, he doesn't get distinguished this in the same breath as uh, Candreva because this guy scored a goal this year, unlike Candreva last year. So uh, number three goes to Hakan Chalanolu. Uh, his wonderful, powerful strike, uh, beating the goalkeeper, nothing he could do about it. Great goal by him, uh, gets off the snod, and he is coming in at number three in this one. Coming in at number two, we're going to go to to, uh, to Juventus, uh, actually. Um, and this one is going to be uh, where we see the, the famous double celebration of the Dybala mask and the Ronaldo celebration. But this is coming from Paulo Dybala. Uh, his left-footed strike to the top right corner. Uh, sensational strike by Paulo Dybala La Joya. Uh, so he comes in number two. So who could who could outdo number two? Who could outdo him, huh? Well, uh, coming in at number one is the, the Polish uh, phenom, if you want to call him, if you will. Uh, they're calling him the next Shevchenko. That may be a little strong to call him right now. But, uh, of course, we're talking about Krzysztof Piantic. Uh, his no-look goal... Um, ridiculous goal. I mean, you got to take like two looks at this goal. Uh, the, the beautiful cross in by R Ricardo Rodriguez is just one thing, but the no look shot past the goalkeeper. Uh, what a wonderful strike he scores this in the 45th minute of the first half. It pretty much changed the entire game. So that comes in number one. To recap, Krunic, Diego Farias, Chalanolu, Debala, and of course Piantic with the top five. So. Uh, thank you for checking in. Let us know what you thought about our top five goals. Go to at Syria Sit Down on Twitter uh, or Instagram and, and let us know if you agree or disagree. Um, and you can check again, check us again next week. We'll, we'll try to get out right as soon as the games end. Um, and as always, make sure you listen to us on all the any streaming service you can think of. Uh, you'll find us there. Uh, and as well, make sure you subscribe to this uh, YouTube page as well. So uh, next pod's coming this weekend. Make sure you take a listen. Ciao.